Um, people, this is the story about my asshole landlord, Kevin Sutherland, and his family. Because if anybody wants to know the shit that's went on over here where we've lived for almost 10 years, we've lived here 9 years, 8 months. With November, December, January, and then February. Four more months be here 10, been here 10 years. But, um, yeah, this is the story of that. Um, but there we go. We moved over here in 2003 because we lost the place that we live. Mom, like, got blown something out on the house, and I forget, and, like, one time we thought we was going to have to leave, and we ha I had to get rid of all my chickens, and then we didn't, and then I got me more, and then I had to get rid of them again, and then we did have to leave, leave. Like I said, we moved over here in 2003. The whole time we've lived here, people, I know it's a stupid Mom said she didn't think nothing about it, and I didn't think nothing about it. Kevin never gave us a damn receipt the whole time we've lived here. Receipt. He he never had us sign a lease. We just had a contract, you know, saying we had to pay four fifty rent. You know, it was two bedroom, you know, one bathroom, you know, a little living room kitchen, you know. I mean, it's pretty good size, but Yeah, and then years down the road he wanted five fifty for it. I mean, he don't think he can go up past that. Does he? He's going to get six or seven out of these little rinky dink places, does he? Apparently he does. Well, Mom said she seen it in the paper one time. He was wanting five seventy-five or something for it. And that's besides anybody paying like $25 extra to keep their pets. And yeah, we ain't got no dogs. No more of my dog Freckles passed away. And... Uh, Mom's dog smoking. He passed away. Oh, he started some shit a while back saying we still owed him money for them dogs. People, them dogs been dead for months. How can you pay him for something that's dead? But he's a dirty fucker. When we first moved in here, the neighbor, Josie, that lived over here, said they had a lease to live here six months. They were supposed to be moving out in a camper, but now they're not going to do that, so I don't know when Josie and Terry's going to leave. But, um, she done what my mom did, like, knock the lights off in the house, because, you know, we've never rented for it. It's the only place we've ever lived in our life. And mom knocked it out and was on the phone with Kevin, you know, trying to get Terry back home. And his old daddy was cussing mom in the background. Better not touch that GD thing again, you know. Just had no right fucking doing that. I don't know what all he said, but he did that. And people, I'll tell you this. I can't 100% tell it's true, but Danny Lee that we've known for years, I mean, I don't know why he's got any reason to lie about this, why he would have brought something up like this. But, uh... Yeah, um, Kevin's mama, hell, I forget what her damn name is, was caught at Walmart stealing computers. Like, had made fake receipts out on the computer some way. Yeah, and I, over the last little while, that Kevin's, like, printed out a bunch of shits in the envelopes and sent it to his mail, probably printed out on a stolen computer. But, yeah, Danny Lee said he was at the door when they caught her. I don't know what they ever done to her about it. If they put her on probation or made her do community side, I don't know what the fuck. If it even happened. But Danny Lee, we've known for all them years that run the lawnmower shop over here. Danny Lee turned into an asshole. No, anymore. I don't know if he got where he got some money, where he was in the car wreck, and it went to his head. But he didn't used to be like that. But um, yeah, and well, here here's the story, people. The carpet started wrinkling up by like four years in, in here. Well, Mom used to clean it all the time and shampoo it, and then Mom got sick and couldn't hardly clean it. But people, it's the old cheap-ass carpet. It ain't going to last forever. 
I mean, Josie, I talked to her today, says it looked like the carpet over there already needed to be replaced. Well, people, he's replaced it every damn time somebody moves out of there, but he never wanted to do it up here. He's never wanted to do shit since we lived there. This shit right here happened. Mom used to spray the porches off all the time that caused the wood to rot underneath the side and in front. But it may not even be in that. It may have been where it rained because it rained in our... You know, I wish I hadn't ever said that to Kevin because, you know, got Mom in trouble for nothing because it probably the rain did cause that. Hell yeah. And I don't think this place has got good wire and shit's always acted funny. Plug-ins ain't act worked right and just shit like that. I don't think it's got good wiring in this place. And hell, we've had like two or three dryer tire ups since we've lived here and two or three washers. Um, but, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Shit. Let me think a minute, people. Oh, carpet, carpet. Okay, I asked Kevin in three or four years if he'd take it up. And he'd give me a run around. Oh, I'll see. You. And another thing, people, I hate the way he mows the yard. He don't weed it half a shit. He hits the trees. I think he does it on purpose, trying to kill them trees. Like he don't want them trees out there. But... Um, he's too cheap to pay anybody more to mow it, and then he mows it. He just not. It looks like shit. It does. It has sprigs all over it. He just like just it's enough to knock it down. It looks like shit. He mows it. You know when the people used to mow it, it looked good. Now it don't. Um. But okay, this hat mowed the carpet. Well, I asked him, can I tuck it? In? But well, I never tuck it. I live it's still down in the two bedrooms. And it's still, some of it's still down right here underneath this TV. Like, I just took, like, the worst part of it up to, like, the living room right over here in the hallway. Here, look. See? Now, see, look here. You can see it right there where my foot is. It's still damn down. But I took it up, like, right there, through the hallway. But, um, yeah. Um, but, um, okay. I asked Mike, like, so we had rental assistance people, and they paid, like, two ninety seven, and I forget how much we paid. But, um, what the amount was, but they paid, you know, two ninety seven. Um well I asked my you know well here I didn't even ask he said if it was all right with the rental sets people, he meant Mike Like. Well people, I didn't think that I need to ask Mike Like because I'll tell you why. Mike Like stood up here and flat lied to us. I thought he was our friend, I guess not, he just acted that way. Um Um he um what was I going to say? Oh, he stood up here and just flat lied, people. Hold on. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Sorry about that. But, people, he flat lied. Um, I put some water in the face and it's a little hot. But um, he told us he had nothing to do with carpet being down or up or the walls being painted or tile being down. Anything like that. Okay. He said his main priority was making sure stuff worked like you, you sink, you come out, you refrigerator, you water, you know, they wasn't leaks, you fire alarm, shit like that. Like making sure the beds wasn't pushed up too close to the winder so somebody could get out. Shit like that. Well, once we took it up, I took it up. He changed his tune. Oh, that's considered unfinished floor and that's going to have to be put down 30 days or you're going to lose your rental system. I guess that pissed Kevin off. 
that shit happening. Um, and his daddy said the other day, like, on the 1st, October 1st, uh, that he could get in trouble us living in here on that floor. That's bullshit, because people live on hardwood floors and shit. And, go, and then Kevin said one day, he said that, the, that that was hurting that floor, that carpet not being down. Um, people, if that damn floor was that fucking bad, it wouldn't matter if it's carpet on or not, because you put carpet down and walk across it, you'd fall fucking through it. Case closed. But, um, he, um, okay, we wound up getting a rental assistance cut out, but here's the thing, people. Kevin was lying to still get it for a month or two, stick it in his pocket, trying to still get more money off this one. That was supposed to be going towards the rent or what we owed it. We got behind a month or two, but my mom's went down to Central Services like three or four times, at least two or three times, got him like $500 or like even extra money that she didn't even owe him. That right there should take care of that. And, and he said that the deposit went towards putting a new front door and back door in here or they got wet, so he couldn't use the deposit for anything. And I'm going to tell you this, our air conditioning, AC, essential air and heat stopped working, but it, we got it back working. Maybe the box wasn't too tight on, on the wall, but I like walked past it, my shirt got caught on it, and it pulled it off the wall, and I put it back up on her, and it started working again. Thank God it was like cooled down them two or three days or three or four days it stopped working or we'd have burned the fuck up. But mom read in a pamphlet from Legal Aid said that that's against the law for him not to come up here and fix stuff like that because we ain't paid nothing. We had paid something. We've still been paying the rent. We've been giving him 450 And who's bitching... But it said if he didn't sign a lease, he could put the, uh, the rent up to whatever he wanted to. But people look like they'd be some kind of say in us living here almost 10 years. I mean, we had a contract. We never signed nothing saying that. He didn't have a lease till last two, one or two years around here. So I don't know, but... Okay, yeah, and all this mess got started over this carpet, and we tried to work shit out with him and tell him that we'd give him like two hundred dollars a month. He put it up when he went. He wanted say it's gonna cost six or seven hundred dollars to put up the carpet. We's gonna get you know do that. I guess we could have kept it up ourselves, but people, we, I guess we didn't think about it, and then just give it to him. But then he'd have been bitching on us and stuff. So I don't know. But, but I just like forgot about it. But um, what was I gonna say? No, I'm sorry I keep saying. But what I was gonna say or in, or anything like that, messing up on what I'm saying, pisses me the fuck off, people. People, he even stole from us. I got some more to tell. I'm gonna tell this story about him stealing from us. Okay. They was this gir uh, two girls moved in next door. One of them had a little gear. Little girl, she's mixed, like half, you know, white and black. And then that one girl had a black boyfriend. The one that had a little girl, that wasn't her boyfriend. It was the other white girl. Well, that one girl got into it with her something. She moved out. Then that one girl run her boyfriend off. Had his shit out in the backyard fucking burning it. Well, they had a bench on the front porch. And Mom told them she liked it. Well, apparently they had moved out and gypped him a month's rent or something, but that had nothing to do with us. They pushed that bench over on our side for us to have it. And, um, yeah, pushed it over on our side. Well, one night Kevin was up our next door messing around. And the damn bench disappeared. I called him. I said, Kevin, you know what happened to that bench? He said, maybe it grew wings and flew away. Then about two weeks later, seen him and his daddy carrying that bench out of that apartment, stuck it in the back of his daddy's truck. The same damn day we was at Food City, there said his daddy's truck with that bench sitting in it clear as day. So there you fucking go. People, he, yeah, he stole, 